My name is Kimberly Hollowell. I'm an equine internal medicine specialist at North Carolina State University doing my PhD in the Shabble Lab. So the project that we have presented here is looking at the prevalence of insulin dysregulation or equine metabolic syndrome in a population of working sport horses in the United States. And so what we found with our research is that approximately 23% of the horses in our study, which is 150 horses so far, are positive for equine metabolic syndrome. And most of those horses require what we call dynamic insulin testing or something called an oral sugar test where we give your horse a set amount of caro syrup and test their insulin levels afterwards to see how they respond to oral sugars. And the importance of this research is that we don't know how many horses are affected by this disease and it can really affect how we manage your horse in terms of diet or the therapies they receive like steroids. And so understanding how many horses are affected by this and what the risk factors are for that disease is important so your veterinarian can know how to decide which horses to test and how to manage them.